Hey church family, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, we're told, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. For a lot of Christians, prayer is confusing. We wonder, does my prayer or my failure to pray affect what God is going to do in my life? And the answer to that question is both yes and no depending on the situation. There are times when God has a predetermined plan that he's going to carry out whether or not we pray. In those situations, the encouragement to pray is that when we do, we get to be participants in what he's going to accomplish. There are other situations and circumstances in which scripture tells us that the reality is that you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. How can we tell which situation is which? Well, we can't which may explain why we're encouraged in 1 Thessalonians 5 to never stop praying. As Jesus sent out his disciples to minister, we know of at least one occasion in which they returned frustrated because of their inability to accomplish a certain miracle. They asked Jesus to tell them what the problem was. And he told them that there are some things that cannot be accomplished apart from prayer. Now, God hasn't told us what those things are. And until he does, we'd all do well to follow his instructions, to never stop praying. Remembering that when we pray, we're talking to a good father who loves to listen to his children and to answer their prayers. Amen.